Hello, checking in at the 90% mark of midnight in Chernobyl, where we've gone through oh, the the cleanup, well, not cleanup, the containment of uh, the of Chernobyl afterwards. Um, you know, them finally evacuating everybody and them finally kind of getting to grips with just exactly how fucked up all this is and um, the various things basically ending up with the sarcophagus encasing the thing in concrete um, and you know not completely sealing it up because if you sealed it up you would could potentially have a bomb <laughs> A atomic creating like you know pressurized bomb that could then build up build up and explode as well as um, them also trying to figure out oh shit we haven't accounted for all the nuclear materials like they haven't all been ejected from the the thing and where are they and we need to neutralize that or else potentially it could go nuclear as it was it could go critical again so there's that so it's a massive massive thing i think in the end they're they're basically i think they basically said they spent the entire defense budget of the soviet union um amount of money on doing this as well as having to maintain the thing and as well as um having having a costly withdrawal from afghanistan and um gorbachev's sounds like fairly not good economic ploys so all culminating in weakening and finally doing in uh this the soviet union and you know the U uh, ukrainians breaking away various other Boris Yeltsin coming into power in Russia for however many how much of time so yeah all that all that happening a big stew which you can tell it's happened at this point um probably is what allows a lot of this information to actually come to light if the Soviet Union just kept on chugging along and weren't still in power now probably wouldn't know any of this uh there's definitely there's what gets comes to be called the last show trials of the soviet of the soviet union where they blame the operators for the for chernobyl they the um the physicists and everybody who designed this fatally flawed um uh system this of of this kind of uh, nuclear reactor uh, their witnesses testifying against the against the operators so they all get like maximum sentences of you know gone gone to the gulags for 10 years or more um, you know and who knows how long they're going to actually if they're going to actually live live through it um, there's definitely also the, the, the things like the official story for the Soviets. The official story for the Soviets is that uh, only 31 people died <laughs> in Chernobyl. That's that that would be the official story, not the the tons and tons of people who got radiation poisoning. It's actually surprising. There's some people who seem to who have survived and recovered people who you think you got fucking lethal doses um some of them actually they talk about one fellow who survived all this and then basically committed suicide by alcohol just drank himself to death um afterwards you know a part of it being the aftermath of, the, of this the aftermath of the collapse of the ussr um uh, there's just also the really sad thing of the kind of the folk belief that drinking lots of vodka will mitigate the the um 
effects of radiation poisoning, which, if it wasn't so fucking sad, would be kind of hilarious because, ah, oh, it's Russians and drinking vodka. It's like, of course, it's the panacea for everything. But it's like these are desperate people who are dying horribly. So, I mean, Jesus, I guess it's a one way to try and... Um, uh, try try and self-medicate from the pain though they talk about one guy who survived and I mean it's the multiple graphs and the continuing radiation burns showing up and getting addicted to the narcotics to try and de deal with the pain or other people who um, in the end the drugs aren't enough and they just die in horrible pain it's just like fuck it's just um, it's horrible so there's that um, Higginbotham talks about how, oh, this kind of was the bit of the nail in, co in the coffin for the nuclear industry for a while. Um, that the Three Mile Island and then, and then this, it's like people are like, hmm, maybe this nuclear, nuclear power thing isn't fucking worth it because there's something to be said for the fact that Jesus, you know, this is such nasty, horrible stuff. Is it really worth it worth the the horrible risks and knowing what human nature is should we be use it should we actually be using this I think there's a valid point there that it's not just the corrupt um, fucked up system of the Soviets it's like this there's things that indicate that this could happen elsewhere that's that's my own that's my own opinion Just like, it, you know, you could have the best run thing right now, but can you guarantee in 50 years' time that it's going to still be the best run in the, the world? That's the, you know, have an economic dip, have changes in government. I, it's, not proof, it's not proof of all that stuff. And Jesus Christ, all the other, all the other kind of um, industries are really good at poisoning the, the earth. And why is this one suddenly we're going to be fucking angels with this. It's it's not going to happen. All right. I will leave it there. I'll be interested to see what the last 10% of this is about. So, yeah, it's a it's a really good book, really interesting book. Um, it's one of these things where you think, ah, geez, I wish I had the in, the bibliography in the end to see kind of like, you know, the the, the work, the, the, the quotes, the where it comes from. Um, and I'll have to look. I know there's another book that was more um, Ukraine focused about kind of what the political stuff going on with the Ukraine in particular. Um, and that, that, that might be an interesting book to also try at a, a different point and see if you get a little bit of an extra, a little, another little slice. This is definitely more about the nuclear part of it with now at the end, ah, Yes, this really affected the politics of, of this region uh, and the reverberations to this day where the Russians want back in. Yes, yes. All right. I will leave it there. More videos later.